I felt it appropriate to cover something related to the Reformation. I thought we'd talk about this, and I'm going to go into depth with some of the different reformers, but I thought let's just do a general category for now. I've heard that people mention the reformers. Who are these people, or who were these people, and what, what were they reforming? So who are these reformers? Well, a few things. Generally, reformers can refer, refer to a lot of things, but it generally refers to that group of people at the time of the Protestant Reformation, which basically is in the 6th century AD. And I say basically because people can argue that it kind of started before, then it kind of started after that. Obviously, a lot put on 1517, that around about there. But the primary goal of the reformers especially at the beginning, was to reform the Roman Catholic Church at the time. So it was breaking, uh, not breaking away at that time, but it would eventually, but it was saying we need to reform the Roman Catholic Church, which was, you know, arguably even by the Catholic Church, not modern Catholic Church, will say it was a pretty bad time. There was a lot of things going on with the indulgences, the, the, the Borgia, the Medici era, all these different things were going on, and it was not the best time for the Catholic Church. However, the egregious excesses, the, the poor theology and what I'll call papal offenses or a lot of, uh, of, of transgression in the, in the church during that time. And during that time, basically, there was a, a sense that, uh, they, that a group of people had that we need to reform the church. Their goal was not to try and create a new church. They wanted to reform the church, and that's why they're called the Reformers. Now, as we know, that turned out the Protestant uh, Reformation broke out of that and broke away and started a whole new set of everything, and we'll talk a little bit more about that during the, uh, the message, but I wanted to highlight a few of the names. Now, this is just a few of the names. As I said, it's not just these people. It's not that these people came up with something and everybody else said, huh. It was that there was a sense that the people were already ready to do this, but these were some of the major names that happened during that time. Martin Luther, John Calvin, John Knox, Holdrich Zwingli, Philip Melanchthon, and I had to check the spelling on that one a few times, and there were many others. I mean, you could argue that Tyndale had a part of that. You could argue a lot of different aspects, Wycliffe, all these different aspects of different, or I'm sorry, different people that were involved in different aspects of the Protestant Reformation, and certainly was carried on by many, many others. But these, I think, were good names to bring up. And if you don't recognize a name on there, or if you're like, you know, I haven't, I haven't learned anything about that person in a long time, I'd encourage you, maybe this week or sometime this month, you take a little time and look up one of those people and, and kind of get a better sense uh, of those. And if you're saying, wait, I, I, don't, I don't know how to spell Holdrick Zwingli or something, this, we always put these out on the website, uh, out on the, the YouTube, so you can always look it up from there. But uh, those are some, just some of the people of note during that time. And as I said, we're going to go and discuss a little bit more about some of the individuals as we go on. And as I said, their, their original intention was to reform the church, to bring it back to a biblical standard of faith, where the Roman Catholic Church leadership uh, at that time, they really pushed back against the reformers. They said, we're not going to change, or we're not going to change at the speed you want, or that sort of thing. Now, eventually, some of the Catholic Church did change, so I'm not trying to say that it's exactly the same as it was, but when they pushed back at that time, there, was, there were revolts, and there were a lot of things, and then it created this huge schism, which lasted and lasts even to this day. So that's the reformers.